Hey everyone, welcome to my channel and welcome to my bathroom. Today I'm gonna take you on a medicine cabinet tour with a twist. What I'm gonna share with you are natural alternatives to everyday healthcare items that you might be using. So without further ado, let's get into my medicine cabinet. First things first, we have really basic items like deodorant, this is my deodorant. The Toms of Maine um, unscented deodorant, it is paraben free, fragrance free, uh, no artificial colors or preservatives. But it works really well. I don't notice a stink or smell on me and I work out pretty much every day so that's a plus. Okay so this is just some witch hazel that I uh, refilled from my local refill shop a while ago and there's still quite a bit in here. What do I use witch hazel for? I use it as an astringent on my face. I use it as part of my makeup remover process. I also like to, and remember this is a medicine cabinet tour, so we're getting real, real fast. If I'm dealing with any hemorrhoids, um, yes, I have hemorrhoids, and I'm putting that out on here for everyone to see. It's, it happens, you know? But if I'm dealing with that and they are really bothering me, I will spritz on some witch hazel. That really, really helps uh, just reduce any swelling. Witch hazel is also really great for perennial care postpartum. I've seen women make witch hazel pads where they literally saturate their pads. For postpartum care in, in witch hazel, stick the pad into like the freezer and then they will um, use the pads afterwards and it's like a very cooling, very healing way to heal the perennial area after delivering. So witch hazel is a really great, there's a lot of other great uses for it. I love having it in my medicine cabinets for a lot of different reasons. Next up I have this Think Baby, the standard for safe sunscreen. I really love the Think Baby brand. It's usually called Think Sport, but I use Think Baby um, for myself and for my daughter. So we use this for everybody in the family. It's a mineral based sunscreen, which is reef safe. So if you don't know, there are certain sunscreens that are made that actually kill coral reefs and our beautiful oceans. And some people may think like, oh, well, it's just me applying this sunscreen, you know, one time, but think about the thousands, if not millions of people who venture to beaches across the globe that are using unsafe sunscreen that actually does have a great impact on our coral reefs. So if you can, please purchase a zinc oxide or mineral based sunscreen that is going to save you and your skin from toxic ingredients, but it's also gonna save our oceans and that's really important. The next thing that I have in here is this Arnica gel. It is a muscle pain and stiffness gel and it's also used for bruising. So I mainly use this for bruising. I don't know why I've gone to the doctor about this. They just have told me that I have very thin skin, but I'm incredibly prone to bruising. This Arnica gel really helps speed up the process of healing those bruises. Um, I've also noticed that it works really well when I do have like sore muscles after workout, if I just kind of slather this on. As you can tell, I'm running quite low on this, but I love using this. It is a standard staple in our home. These two products here are kind of some DIYs that I've been doing. This is a nail oil. My nails have been really kind of like brittle and dry and thin and I think it's because I had been using gel nails and had gotten gel nails over and over again and just noticed a lot of damage. So this has been a lifesaver. It's made with fractionated coconut oil and then I put a bunch of different essential oils in there that are really good for nail health. And I have been noticing my nails improving. I think just keeping them hydrated daily has really been helping with kind of the splitting and breaking and just like overall dryness that I've seen on my nails. So it's my little DIY. This is an old Biosance uh, bottle, if you guys are familiar with that brand. So I just upcycled it. This right here is another DIY that I made and it's with coconut oil and an essential oil called Panaway. So Panaway is a oil offered by Young Living. If you ever use like those icy hot kind of ointment that I think uh, my parents use a lot on um, stiff joints and achy bones because uh, they both, both my parents have arthritis. This Panaway essential oil is basically that except it's all natural. So it has that very same wintergreen scent. It's very cooling to the skin and uh, gosh, it just really helps with overall aches and pains. I've been having hip issues, joint pain for the last year and this Panaway when I'm starting to feel that kind of swelling and just like tenderness kick in, I will use this balm 
on those kind of joints and sensitive parts of my hip and it really does help reduce the pain but I think the length of how long the hip pain resides. So that pan away is really also another I think like key essential oil that we use in place of something like mineral or icy hot. I think that's what it's called, the icy hot brand. This is magnesium oil. Magnesium oil is really great for reducing anxiety I have found. So when I'm feeling particularly anxious or rush restless, or even if I have muscle aches, pains after like a workout, and if I just feel like my energy levels are a little bit off, um, introducing magnesium oil into my like bath routine really, really helps me with any of those types of issues. So what I do is I'll just spritz some of this pure magnesium oil onto my body as I'm getting ready for bed and either I'll wipe it off after 20 minutes or so, or I will jump in the shower and rinse it off. So this is a DIY deodorant that I had. Um, it's all out, which is why I'm using the Toms of Maine, but my intention is to make some more or purchase my own that can be placed in here, like a, a refillable option. Um, so I just have that in the medicine cabinet for now and it's just a reminder to my brain to be like, you need to get that once you run out of your Tom's deodorant. The next thing I have is from this company called Fat in the Moon. I really like them. This is called Roid Relief and it's a put a spell on that swell. So getting back to what I mentioned earlier with my witch hazel, if I'm having a little flare up. I will just go ahead and apply this ointment and it really helps kind of calm things down and that is what I need when I'm having a flare up. The little aisle right here, as you can see, is actually all pretty traditional medicine stuff that we do have. So I'm not anti-medicine. We have ibuprofen, we have Tylenol and Robitussin. Those are just medicines that we have on hand. Two things I do, or actually three things I want to mention from this particular row of items are these nasal sprays. So if you are dealing with a lot of congestion or like sinus pressure, I deal with that quite often. I like to use an xylitol based sinus spray and it's for congestion relief. This xylitol is not meant to be used daily. So I will use this maybe once or twice a week and I find that really helps reduce a lot of the sinus pressure and sinus headaches that I do get on occasion. So I have that in my little arsenal of medicine. And just for daily use, I like to use this hyaluronic plus grapefruit seed extract nasal mist and it's for dry nose. My objective when I'm dealing with sinus pressure, sinus headaches, um, any sort of congestion is just to like try to get it out of my body. Um, and so these two things really help me in doing that. My daughter also has allergies. We all have allergies in this family. It's kind of crazy. Anyways, my daughter has this, it's called boogie mist. It's a natural saline mist for stuffy noses. It's non-medicated and it's for, you know, for her age, she's three years old. So she actually knows how to get this and like squirt it up her nose. She doesn't like it. She's a little freaked out by it. But if we like encourage her and spur her on, she will do it. And it's really helpful when she's dealing with congestion. She too also deals with congestion. And when she gets it, she gets really bad ear infections. And so that has been one preventative tool that we've used to kind of mitigate I think the amount of ear infections that she gets. Okay so for this top shelf um, these are some really cool uh, like natural products that I absolutely love. So the first thing is these panda bamboo band-aids. They are really great. They're by the brand called Patch. Also they're latex free so if you have any like latex allergies I do know a couple people do have that. You can use these. So basically they're not made of latex, not made of plastic. So after you throw away like a regular band-aid, they don't biodegrade. They're literally made of plastic. So they take a really long time to break down in like our world. Um, so these guys, I saw like a sped up video of the band-aid breaking down in nature. And it, I think it took about three weeks, which is really good. They really are biodegradable. Okay, the next thing that we have is also from that Fat in the Moon company and it is called Wound Powder. This stuff is supposed to help with any fresh cuts and to help stop the bleeding. So it's made with marshmallow root, myrrh, Oregon grapefruit, and golden sill leaf. It really does work for us. Um, if I get any nicks after shaving, I will use this wound powder. If my daughter gets any cuts, I'll just sprinkle this on. My dad came over once and he was working on 
forget what he was doing, but he ended up getting a cut on his leg. My dad bleeds really easily. He's on um, blood thinners right now for like heart medication stuff. So anyways, all that to say, this worked quite well on him as well. Okay, so this is an all-purpose solve. If you do not have one of these in your like medicine cabinet, you absolutely should get one. So I'll just tell you everything I use it for. So I use it as a chopstick. I've used it for like really dry elbows, knees. Um, I use it on my feet on occasion. I've used it on cuts and like nicks and just like little, little things that might just be annoying. This really helps kind of calm that. I've used it on rashes. There's so many awesome things that you can use this for. This was actually made by a family friend and she literally makes it from like herbs from her garden. It has like a really herbally smell. I love it. I'm gonna put a little bit on my lips. Mm, it's great. Very hydrating. So next um, are items that have replaced Vicks VapoRub in our home. So they're not made with petroleum or mineral oils and they're only made with natural essential oils. So the first one I have is this Zara Bees Natural Baby Soothing Chest Rub. It's made with eucalyptus, lavender, and beeswax, and it's for infants two months and up. If we're ever experiencing any type of cough or chest congestion, um, any sort of congestion really, you like to lather this on, and it really, uh, it really has that really nice kind of light menthol smell, even though there's no menthol in this product. It's just the essential oils. So my daughter will use that if she's not feeling well. And then this herbal vapor rub is also made by that family friend. And it has very similar um, ingredients, uh, coconut oil and olive oil, and it's made with uh, essential oils like camphor, wintergreen, eucalyptus, and myrrh. This has menthol crystals in it as well. Um, so I do use these Arby's on my daughter and then I can use this on myself and my husband. We're getting down to the last bit. All right, so this next thing is Hydrocodazone Cream Plus Calendula and it's an anti-itch cream. It's made without parabens. I actually found this, I think I got it at CVS. It is not my preference to use hydrocodazone creams because it is a steroid cream. However, on occasion, I will have really random and very severe eczema breakouts. It just kind of happens on the fly. It's usually when I've been really stressed out that it tends to be extremely exasperated or if I eat something that I'm allergic to, then I break out in really bad eczema. And so there are just times when nothing else works to help calm the itch. And so I do use this hydrocortisone cream. Not my preference to use, but we do have it in those circumstances of like extreme eczema flare-ups. And if you have eczema and you know that itch, that insane itch that I'm talking about, you do know that like nothing brings you joy than just having some release, relief from it. All right, so I'm down to the last four little items in our medicine cabinet. The first is this Peppermint Halo Sage, I think is the brand, roller blend, and it's essential oil roller blend, you guys. I think I mentioned this in my Instagram stories a little while ago, but this stuff helps me so much with my headaches. You guys, this Peppermint Halo works better than Tylenol, like truly works better than Tylenol. I don't even reach for Tylenol for headaches, tension headaches, migraines even. I, I reach for this and I will douse myself on it. Eucalyptus, lavender, rosemary, and peppermint. And this is just bomb. It, it works so well. My mom actually um, introduced me to it because she gets migraines pretty often and this stuff really helps her as well. So I highly recommend this if you're prone to headaches, tension headaches, even migraines. The next thing I have is this Digi's Vitality Essential Oil from Young Living. I do use Young Living oils. I don't sell it. Um, I've played with the idea, but I don't know if it, that kind of selling that oil is quite right for me. I'm just sharing with you guys what I do use and what works for me. So Digi's Vitality is meant to help with digestion, kind of what it sounds like, right? Digi's Digestion. I will drop maybe one or two drops of this into an eight ounce glass of water. And this is my Pepto-Bismol replacement. If I'm having any sort of heartburn or upset stomach or my stomach just feels off, 
I will use Digees. It really helps calm things down. Similarly, there is by Young Living a tummy jizz by, and it's their Kid Sense brand. There are a couple occasions where my daughter tells me, you know, my tummy hurts, it doesn't feel good. So I will just drop a couple of these essential oils directly onto her stomach. It is already pre-diluted for kids. And I do believe the ingredients in this are similar to the Digee's Vitality, but they're kid-friendly. I will put that in her tummy. She always feels better afterward. It's not something she ingests. This is just applied topically for her, for my daughter. Final thing in our medicine cabinet is this Kid Scent Sniffle Ease. It's also by Young Living, and this is a, another essential oil that I will use on my daughter if she is you know, congested or just dealing with a little bit of a cold. I apply it to her chest, um, kind of her back area, to help her treat any cold that she might be dealing with. All right, you guys, that is everything that I have for you and all of the natural products that I keep in our medicine cabinet. I hope that was a little informative for you. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel for more natural living content like this, and I will catch you in next week's video. Bye.